Everybody, it's time to swing your arms from side to side. Go on. It's time to do the Mario, etc. Oh. Uh, so the Super Mario Bros. movie, there were some animated movies in the 80s or whatever that were Japanese or something. Then they did the live action version, <laughs> which I've got a little bit of fun trivia. Oh, my goodness. But now I've got a super real Nintendo. Oh, you forgot? There was also animated. a series of video games. There was a series of video games. They mm. made two to three of them. Mm-hmm. And then this movie. I think they should have done a Super Mario Brothers, the movie, the video game. In the style of Street Fighter, the movie, the video game. <laughs> Completely agree. Get it, get Hoskins Fully and, digitized Bob Hoskins. Hoskins and Leguizamo in there. He shoots Dennis Hopper with a Nintendo yeah, scope yeah. or whatever. And you do down, down, forward, forward, high punch, and he goes, I was in King Lear. <laughs> I used to do King Lear. Um, budget of $100 million. Oh, yes. Box office return. Oh, yes. Record breaking. Mm. Apparently this record was set by Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the US opening is going to come in at around, if not higher, than $206 million. Globally, the conservative estimate of this movie in its first five days, because it did open a little bit early, is around $368 million. What do you think the story was? Oh, uh, Mario is a plumber and his brother's a plumber, and they're they're going, they're going down there and they're a big couple of pl- big plumbing boys and their big plumbing business. But nobody believes in them. Not even their family think they're a big. Everybody bunch of big hates losers. them. Everyone hates them, and they <laughs> they live at home in little beds. Yep, little Mario and Luigi beds. How old are they supposed to be? Canonically, Mario and Luigi are supposed to be twenty five. Then this is the prequel. I feel to that. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but they look like adults. Then again, Squat it's, cartoon, man. it's the modern day, so, you know, yeah. people are staying at home longer. Yeah, yeah, anyway, they find a portal and they end up in Toadland or whatever. And you might be like, oh, what series of events leads them to finding a portal? I guess. Fall in a hole. And yeah, they, they're in a hole. Yeah, and then they see it. They go, oh, there's, there it is. Hey, we're going to the portal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then and then uh, Bowser's going to destroy uh, Toadland or whatever. Yep. So Mario's <laughs> got to stop him. Okay. And Princess Peach is there and Toad. I think... And all the stuff you like. I think I like this slightly more than you. Okay. Does that mean you liked it at all? I... I Okay. I think this is... If you like the Sonic movie, uh-huh. movies... Yes. I think it's probably on par with the first one. I think the Sonic second movie is better. I think it's a stronger movie, a stronger okay. kids movie. If you like League of Super Pets, if you like the movie Hop... I think okay. in that sense, uh-huh. both of my kids enjoyed it uh-huh. for what it was because it's like, look, he gets the thing and he does a flip and he meets Donkey Kong and whatever. Uh-huh. So for as a kid's movie, yeah, yeah, uh-huh. as like a movie in itself, not as much. No. What about you? I thought it was bad. <laughs> and again, I look, you know, I talked to one of your kids that is capable of conversation earlier. Yep. and uh, They both talk, Mason. One talks-ish. <laughs> and he seemed to enjoy all the stuff that was happening. Yeah. And I guess that's cool. That is cool. But some of us like a bit more out of our movies. Yeah, and I know there is, that, like it could be said, and I'm sure people have said this, and maybe even will say it to us, that this isn't necessarily a movie for adults, which it's I agree with. absolutely not a movie for adults, yes. But I think you could Or is it an adult movie? Yeah, but if you look at, like, and I mentioned it earlier, like the Despicable Me franchise even, which is also Illumination, whatever, mm. maybe the Secret Life of Pets movies. I don't, I don't know. I haven't okay. seen them. I think there was a way to make this at least funnier. Yeah, that's my. Because it's just not. That's my not number one problem with this. I think is yeah. that it is just there is so much empty space between jokes. Yeah, you know, like the best episodes of the Simpsons. Lego Movie. Lego. I I've not seen most of them, but I've seen in Lego Batman. You know, yeah. just wall to wall jokes, and some of them as an adult you go, oh, and some of them as an adult you go, ha. That's actually quite good. Yeah. I'm sure some of the kids watching will, will not get some of the jokes. But they'll get the other They'll bit. get the other jokes. Well, you see Batman in his heart underpants and whatever. Exactly, and that's a bit of fun. Yeah. But this one was just exposition, half-hearted joke. Yep. They go to a different place, exposition, half-hearted joke. Go to a different place. Go to a different place. Get a power up and whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think there are a lot of missed opportunities in this. And again, as a kid's movie, right. 90 minutes, perfect. Like genuinely. Right. Like, Take your kids if you you need to keep them quiet for a little bit, you know? <laughs> right, yes. It's perfect in that sense, which is okay. Movies can be that. But I think mm. there's missed opportunities in the world of the Mushroom Kingdom and joke-wise that they just don't do. It feels like a lot of this is just first pass. Like, how does he get to the Mushroom Kingdom? I don't know. He falls down a hole and he finds a pipe. How does he train? He does, he does a Mario course. He just does one of the Mario yeah, yeah, courses, yeah, yeah. whatever. Donkey Kong's here. What's he going to do? He's going to be like, look at these pecs. Yeah. And it's like... Write something else other than that, <laughs> right. you know? But I guess they didn't have to, did they? No. Because they've made $400 that's million. Right. Dollars, so. Now, I know this was your favourite bit. Well, you said this to me where okay. Jack Black sings a song about Peach. Yes. So part of the story is that uh, Bowser is in love with Princess Peach. 
Uh-huh. Uh, and so that's why he wants to invade the Mushroom Kingdom and whatever. He thinks he's got a a real a real um, affection for Princess Peach, and he's like, as soon as I show up and I give her some flowers and what have you, she'll fall madly in love with yeah. me. He's not like I'm going to force her to get married or whatever. He's just like, yeah, she she loves me for sure. I like her. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Uh-huh. Anyway, and he sings a little song about how much he loves Peach. He gets on the piano. Yeah. And- and I was, I actually, just by pure coincidence, I watched Tenacious D tribute song today. Oh, yes. Like so people know it. Tenacious D and Jack Black have a lot of great songs. Mm. But I feel like this is not a very funny Jack Black song. It's no. just like Peaches, 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 Love and Love and whatever. I imagine it was like a muck around. Yeah. I reckon it, they maybe even just brought in a piano or. or it feels like that. And they just went, what, what can you do with this? Yeah. It feels like just improv a song maybe or we just wrote this song called Peaches, and there's ten better versions of that that yes. you could have done that they mm-hmm. that they just don't do. Yeah, right. Yeah, look, to, to me this movie was just weirdly paced and so much empty space in it where it could, that could have been filled with jokes and instead was filled with, I think you could do jokes and also, hey, look, look, there's the thing from... Yeah. Like there were a couple of background visual gags. Like I think there was a, there's a vintage store and it was filled with vintage... Old video games or something. Blows on the card or Blows whatever. The card, yeah, 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 totally. They're, yeah, because yeah, it's none of it's. I wouldn't even say like none of it's bad. I was never like. It looks nice. It certainly. looks incredible. Yeah. It looks like what an amazing recreation mm. of the Mushroom Kingdom and yeah, yeah, yeah. and whatever. And but, but he shows up, Mario shows up in the Mario and Luigi show up in the Mushroom Kingdom and they get separated and Luigi ends up in the dark realm or where, where and he's gets captured by Bowser and Mario has to rescue him and so he goes to he goes to Daisy and he's like um I'll. I'll help you defeat Bowser. And she's like, okay. Anyway, can you run this course, this uh, this platforming course? And he's yep. like, I'm I'm bad at it. She's yeah. like, well, we'll just... Just keep doing it. Just keep doing it, I guess. Yeah. Just keep keep doing that. And he does. Why wouldn't she be like, no? Yeah. What a waste of my time. There is this kind of paper-thin, like, characterization and I think also relationships going on here. Like, like he runs into the castle to, to find Princess Peach and he's like, I need to find my brother. And she's just... All right. She's not like, this is a crazy person. Like, do we want to talk this through? Do I want yeah. to push back on this bit a little? It's immediately like, yes. And also, look, we again, we know it's a every every part of this movie, yeah, we know it's a kid's movie. Yeah. But just a tiny little bit of extra anything would have been yeah. would have been good. How do I defeat this course? You can use a power up. What do you mean a power up? <laughs> Why do these exist? Why are they here? I hate mushrooms. Oh, like Sonic. Like in the Sonic movie, it's like that's the laziest version of like, oh, I got to eat mushrooms. Well, I hate mushrooms. Well, you have to because it's yeah. in the game. Also, they don't even look like these are cartoon <laughs> mushrooms. They're different. <laughs> They're different, Mario. They're different. Like even like so in the relationship with Luigi is characterized as Mario is always there for Luigi. Yeah. And that's it. Yes. There's not even like a, the cliche thing of like. Mario is always overshadowing me or whatever, and I can never live up to Mario, and it's uh-huh. all, I'm, whatever. I'm a fr- it's, it's just, it's, it's not. You know, the deep lore of the Mario the, universe. No, I just mean, like, it's just Mario finds Luigi and he goes, I found you. Yes, <laughs> that's right. Oh, wait, you were here every time. Oh, that's pretty good. That's, yeah. that's good. Well, that's what I'm exactly right. And I think, honestly, the cast is great. I think Chris Pratt as Mario, the Brooklyn thing, I get it. You settle into it. Yeah. I think it works for the yeah, most part, right. right? Charlie Day's amazing. So Anya Taylor Joy is Princess Peach, and that's all fine and whatever. <laughs> Jack Black is Bowser. These uh-huh. are all good. Yes. These are all good additions. Mm. Cranky Kong is only Donkey Kong's father, not his grandfather. I think that was a real mistake there in the in So the is there like a, a is there I didn't know there was a Kong in between. There is a Kong in between. Oh my that's right. God. Very embarrassing for the law there. Yeah, I just think like the scope of this universe, and you see it in like the places they visit. Why wouldn't Peach just defeat Donkey Kong? Because she's really good at everything. Well, that's exactly right. What does Mario bring to this that Peach can't do? We can talk about the woke discussion surrounding this, Mason. Can we? Okay. We're talking about before the show because there's two schools of thought, right, that contradict each other. Well, yeah, look, I've seen of... in terms of <laughs> in terms of woke outrage mm. because obviously, like a lot of movies recently, the uh, if you go to Rotten Tomatoes, for example the critic score is significantly lower than the audience score. Yeah. Uh, and and I, I've seen two attempted culture war... Uh, Here we uh, go. Uh, two attempted culture war strategies playing out simultaneously. One is that uh, actually the reason critics hate this movie is because they're against Chris Pratt because of his conservative religious views Even and though et everybody loved the Guardians yeah, Christmas yeah, yeah, special. Yeah. It's just came And anyway, out. Uh, actually the, the critics are completely out of touch and actually it's really good and you should definitely see it because it's uh, if it's so good. And then the other the other direction was 
uh, actually, why does Princess Peach uh, not need to be rescued? Why is she a kick-ass girl? Because actually, that's not accurate to the movie. Because actually, she's, she's, she's playable in the, she's playable in a yeah, bunch no, of games. Also, she's supposed yeah. to be a damsel in distress or whatever. So they're attempting to to fire at both of these simultaneously, yeah. just to see which one will hit, yeah. and then they're just going to run with that one forever, which I think <laughs> is fun. And I suspect it's the Chris Pratt. Uh, sure. Okay. We, we hate Chris Pratt because of his, his, his conservative views, which is why we all hated the Guardians of the Galaxy Christmas special <laughs> so much and why we're all going to hate Guardians of the Galaxy 3. <laughs> Correct. Or maybe the critics' score is is low because they didn't like the movie because it's not sure. really good. Because they're mean, adults watching a movie for kids. So many... Like when Mario shows up and, she, and he's like, where's the, at the princess's castle? And he's like, where's the princess? And the guard's like, well... Our princess is another castle. Yeah, we get it. Like the game. Like we the game. It. Like a game. What about the start when he ran? But why would he say that? He'd just say no. Yeah. <laughs> He'd say no, leave. No, fuck off. I have a sword. <laughs> I'll kill you. I'll kill you, foreigner. <laughs> and stab you to death. <laughs> That's right. I, I enjoyed like Donkey Kong. That little mm. Donkey Kong Mario rivalry. And they do yeah. a Mario Kart and... And whatever. And again, look nice. Yeah. But again, it's such a basic way to be like, how are we going to get there? We're going to need carts. Then they go and they build Mario, Mario Karts, Karts and then they get in the Mario Karts and they do a Mario Kart. I mean, great, but like... <laughs> And also all the all the needle drops are so bad. Oh, They're also got, go. really okay. generic and basic. Like there's a – right at the start they have to run through Brooklyn, so it's the Beastie Boys, No Sleep Till Brooklyn. The last time I saw that in a movie I think was Cop Out, which okay. was a Kevin Smith's Cop Out where they were attempting to build some New York flavor baby. Boy, were and they. And they were like, here's No Sleep Till Brooklyn. Oh, because it's said in Brooklyn? Great. Very That's good. really good. Here's a few tweets from Levens Online, who people might know as Andrew Levens. I know him as that. Uh, he's been on this show. He's got the Hey Fan podcast. He's on various social media platforms. And he has several children. He's so got he several children. Seen this with the kids, probably. He knows all about that. Yeah. Anyway, he wrote, The Super Mario Brothers features some nice interpretations of classic Mario songs, which I completely agree with. It's like, oh, I love that song. What a cool orchestral version right, of okay. that. Right, okay, sure, sure, sure. Anyway, he says, but it's also by far has the worst use of licensed music I've ever experienced in a movie. You get like 30 seconds of an orchestral Koji Kondo, and then bam, Thunderstruck kicks you in the yeah. dick. Mm-hmm. They get to Donkey Kong Country, and instead of hearing one of the hundred iconic DK songs, we get Aha's Take On Me for some reason. Yeah, that was weird. Every other song you've heard in a dozen movies before, Holding Out for a Hero, Mr. Blue Sky, the battle song from Kill Bill. They have 40 years of Nintendo music to pull from, and instead they pulled from the Shrek soundtrack. It's so basic. Yeah. It's just the soundtrack is so basic. Well, individually, but, they're all good songs. But here's the thing, though. But they've all been drilled into yes. the dirt by constant use in this but sort like, of stuff. But, like, my son, because he's got a little music player that I put MP3s on, oh, he yeah. asked for, like, a number of these because he's never heard these. Right. So, again, as a kid, yeah. that's fine. But... Yeah. Again, it's lazy first pass. Yeah. We need a hero song holding out for a hero. Yeah. Why not Chad Kroger's hero? Why not? <laughs> Another friend of the show, Elster Tremblay Birchall. Oh, yeah. A couple of days ago. Big the fan Mario also. movie feels like it was written by Chad GPT. <laughs> and I think he's right, honestly. <laughs> yeah. He also has kids, I know. He does. Presume he took their kids too. Yeah. But the, I thought the, the Donkey Kong Mario battle was good. You know, like the power ups are fun. You get like, he goes big, there's a cat one. The small Yeah, mush- they're fun to play in a video yes. game. Yes. But I think also it's fun to see, but like, oh, maybe you could have combined a few of these in a battle where he gets one and then the other and he hits him with a multiple combo or whatever. No, just keep it basic, I think. Also, small Mario is too small. It's supposed to be like half the height of little Mario, not like an inch tall is what I'm saying. Oh, you're saying so regular size Mario is is, is a little Mario, but then there's a smaller There's there's like a tiny mushroom you can get, but it's it's too small, Mason. But you know, there's oh, they had a blue shell. Remember when the guy blue was shell, a blue he went, shell? I'm a blue shell. And he Ugh. said, blue shell. And he did a blue shell. Wow. Ah, uh, there's Easter eggs. He runs a little course, Mario Kart, Jumpman, Punch Out, Luigi's Mansion, musical cues, etc., and so forth, Mason. Should we do some spoilers? Yeah, I'm going to say worst movie ever. It's not for me, honestly. No, I don't think it's for me either, but as a kid's movie. And yep. also, if you're watching it with your kids, yeah. or if you even want to go see it, you're not going to be like, I feel, you're not going to be like, this is unwatchable. I felt it was close to unwatchable for me. Honest, honestly, I would have loved to be like, yeah, this was so much fun as a as a grown up. What a what a fun nostalgia trip for me. And I, you know what? For a lot of people, I bet it was a fun nostalgia trip for them, but it wasn't for me. I don't yep. like it. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, so spoilers. Mm-hmm. Mario lures a bullet into Brooklyn and destroys it. Oh my god! Yes. <laughs> And then they love him for it. Yeah, that's well. Also, yeah, that's a weird <laughs> bit where that, it's that that hero saves the day situation where like nobody in Brooklyn knew what was happening. No, maybe he did. That, like, as far as they're concerned, he did that, maybe and he, he did. <laughs> <laughs> he did it. He bought the big turtle there. That's right. Yeah. So you know, him and Luigi touch the power star together, and they get superpowers. That's not how it works. That's Only how one person can get the power star. Well, I as think, far as I'm concerned, I think kudos to them for 
for trying something out of the ordinary. Wow. Two people touching a power star. Wow. I think that's cool. Mm. Uh, but also, it's also, it went way longer than 15 seconds. True. Yeah. 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 Maybe that's Is that how long it lasts? When, I don't know. When two people touch it. Yeah, maybe. maybe. But that's also, did you see Sonic 2? No. At the end, he's supersonic and he does the same thing and he beats up Robotnik. It's the yeah. same. It's the same thing. They're all kind of the same. Sonic 2 is better than this. I feel, but I and funnier. Watching some of the trailers before that, it, does it strike you that no? We just got Puss in Boots. Besides it's Puss a, in Boots, are they all? Don't they all feel exactly the same now? Let me check. There's also too much punching. Yeah, my wife thought the same thing. She's like, it's kind of boring and just like they just land on each other and punch each other. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, again, but I don't have kids. So maybe you're just like, kids love punching and it's a bit of fun. But I don't know, as as someone who doesn't have any kids, I'm like, yeah, it doesn't seem like a very creative or interesting way for anybody to resolve any problems in a way that the impressionable kids should be like, oh, why am I turning to this guy? But like, (laughs) give me something more interesting and fun. Yeah, I don't disagree with that. Uh, so the bad guys was last year. That was good. I really okay. liked that. Strange Worlds was whatever. Uh, Super Pets was was okay in moments. Lightyear was depressing. Mm. Um, seeing Red was great. Okay. Really enjoyed that. Pause of Fury was apparently terrible, but I haven't seen it. There was Minions: The Rise of Gru. I've seen bits of that, and that was all right. Pinocchio. <laughs> what did you think of Pinocchio? I hated it. <laughs> what did you think of it, James? I didn't watch it. Yeah, you didn't. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, it's, there's some of them are. It depends what it is, basically. Oh, they did another. It's, it's just that it's Sorry, not even interesting punching. Yeah, I know, you I know. Feel what I, mean? yeah, yeah. I, I totally get what, yeah. exactly what you're saying. And then there's a post credits and it's Yoshi's egg or whatever. Yeah. But also, we already saw a bunch of Yoshi's. Oh, yeah, that's right. So... Well, I, I didn't. I went to the toilet. Oh, okay, yes, great. My son informed me. I came back and he goes, You missed Yoshi. Wow. Anyway, I'm glad he enjoyed it. And you're like, I've seen it. I've yeah. seen the video games. I don't care. I saw Yoshi before you were born. <laughs> <laughs> I recognise when there was Baby Mario. It was the design they used from Yoshi's Island. Yeah, give me your popcorn. It's like, but you already had a popcorn. Well, I want your popcorn too. And your wallet. <laughs> <laughs> it's from Sea Ray. Got some reviews here. Oh, yes. All positive though. Hashtag oh, yes. Weekly Planet Pod just finished Super Mario Bros. The callbacks and the voice acting were great. Chris Pratt wasn't half as bad as we all feared. I said what I said. Best movie ever. Best pod ever. Thank you. This is from The Dreamer who says, Hey, Mr. Sunday Movies, just saw hey. Super, Ma- hey, but, 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 uh, Super Mario Bros. Never expected an epic story, but it was definitely fun. A love letter uh, to old Tone fans. Tone fans? Yeah. That's probably What's something, that mean? something else. Old Time fans? Supposed to be Time fans. Like me, who grew up with the series and the last 30 plus years. Best I'm movie just ever. a fan of old Tones. <laughs> <laughs> and John Paul says, saw Mario today. I thought it was really fun. They got me with the, all the nostalgic music. Uh, hashtag Weekly Planet Pod. So I guess that makes it best movie Ever. So well, I'm glad to... other people liked it. Yeah, absolutely. I won't even tell them that they're wrong. You can. No, I won't. So, yeah, yeah. people seem to be enjoying it and good. I, I hope you who, – who wants to see a bad movie? Nobody. Not me. Yeah. Anyway, Rocco Morton, who was that... one of the original directors on Super Mario Brothers 1993. The oh, live of course, action, yeah. The weird Blade Runner movie that they made. Yes. Uh, he also created or directed Max Headroom. Anyway, oh, he co-directed right. this movie, the original one. He spoke to Variety recently and here's something they left out of the movie that they filmed. So after Mario... This is the 90s one. Yes. Mm-hmm. So that's all. If you haven't seen it, we've done a caravan of garbage on it. But basically, it's live action Super Mario and they're regular depressed plumbers and then they go into a world where dinosaurs have evolved into people. That's right. And Cooper is a weird... He's Donald Trump, but he's a lizard man. But he's Hopper. mostly just Dennis Hopper. <laughs> it's, it's like Blade Runner, yeah, but yeah. Mario. And Yoshi looks like a velociraptor. You can't or... ride him because he's like a foot tall. Yeah, yeah. It's fucking bizarre. And he'd eat you, probably. He would definitely eat you. And they have jump boots. They, they have, have big mechanical yeah, jump boots. Because he's, he's a 48 year old man. Yes. So he can't do big jumps for I real. I wasn't King Lear. <laughs> <laughs> Not how Bob Hoskins sounds. I'll work on it. Uh, so after Mario and Luigi complete their crazy adventure in Dino Hatton, Two executives from Nintendo show up at the Mario Bros. apartment in Brooklyn and they want to hear the story because it's on the news and they're making a video game. And so it explains the reason why the film doesn't literally follow the story of the game. It got lost in translation. The Mario Brothers told the story to the Nintendo executives and they misrepresented it. So the film was meant to represent the actual story. Right, okay. I think that would have gone a long way to people looking back on that movie even now and being like, oh, I get it. Yeah, right. Now uh-huh. I get it now. Mm. But instead it had a bit where Princess Peach shows up at the end and she's like, we got to go, go back. back. They never did. we got to go back to Dinotopia. They died in Dino Land. Mm-hmm. All of them died. Also, Bob Hoskins was in the Dinotopia tally movie. Huh. Probably. Wow. All in all, mm-hmm. get out there and see the Mario Brothers movie. It's going to make a billion dollars. Oh, and you want to be there. I want to be there, You want to be there when that, that ticks over in the cinema. And I want to go. And it goes, yeah. it made a billion dollars and we all cheer. Yeah. We go, movies are back, baby. I think the lesson from this that Nintendo, oh, sorry, I hope the lesson they don't take is like, 
This is this. Gets... Now bear in mind, James. Whatever you say here, <laughs> whatever you say, I hope that movie executives, the lesson they don't take away is that is exactly what they're going to take away. Yeah. So, are you ready to curse everyone? Yeah, I am. Okay. The only reason this is doing as well as it would is because it's just brand recognition. Right. It's not good enough as a movie on its own. Like for me, it's like. Oh, it's fun to see Donkey Kong fight Mario and whatever. Mm, right. Like, that's uh, great. Yeah, but there also hasn't been a Nintendo-themed movie in that's right. since 93, I guess. Yeah, oh, there's been, been Pokemon some... and yeah, whatever. Yeah, right, right, right. Yes, right. basically, yes. So there needs to be – it should be better. It's just like, did you see this? Mm. Look at this. But guess what? The lesson will not be that they, <laughs> they must be better. It'll be be exactly like this yeah. because it works. So – should we spend more money on this to make it better? Why would we? Yep, yeah, good point. Great point, It actually. is a great point. Thank you. Do you know what it's time for, though? What's it time for? What are we reading? What are we going to read? Yes. Woo! 